Have you ever wondered when the biblical rapture might occur? Could it be closer than we think? This is an exciting topic, but before we start, I invite you to support the channel. We are opening an online store, and each video has a different item you can buy from the comfort of your house. I tried to add some specials for Mother's Day and I hope you like them. You can support us with your likes, shares and comments if you can't buy anything now. And for those who have not subscribed yet please, you are welcome to do it and click the bell so you do not lose any new videos. Thank you all for your support, we appreciate and pray for you. The Rapture This term has been whispered in hushed tones, debated in theological circles and even sensationalized in popular media, yet, many still remain unsure about what it truly signifies. So, let's take a moment to unravel this mystery, shall we? The rapture is a biblical concept, specifically mentioned in the first letter to the Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 17. Here it's written, Then we who are alive who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. This verse paints a vivid image, one of believers in Christ being lifted up to meet Him in the sky. The significance of this event within the Christian faith cannot be overstated. It is a moment of profound anticipation and hope, it symbolizes the reunion of the faithful with their Savior, a moment when mortality is cast aside, and eternal life is embraced. This is the fulfillment of the promise that Jesus Christ himself made to his followers, a promise of everlasting life in his presence. However the rapture also carries implications for those who remain. For some, it serves as a startling wake-up call, a revelation of God's truth and a catalyst for repentance. For others, it signifies the start of a period of great tribulation and strife, as they grapple with the reality of their unbelief. So, whether you find yourself a believer in the concept of rapture or not, there's no denying its powerful and pivotal role in the biblical narrative. It's an event that, according to Christian belief, will redefine the world as we know it. Now that we've laid the groundwork, let's delve into the clues that hint at the rapture's timing. Hold on to your seats, because this journey is about to get even more intriguing. The rapture is not just an event, it's a moment of great anticipation and hope for believers. Indeed, the rapture holds a unique and profound significance within the Christian faith. It's more than just an event foretold in the Holy Scriptures. It's a promise, a divine assurance that those who believe in Christ will one day be gathered up to meet Him in the air, in an event of unprecedented glory and joy. This concept of reunion, of being in the presence of Christ, kindles a flame of hope in the hearts of believers. It's a beacon that guides their spiritual journey, an ultimate reward that makes every trial, every challenge faced in life, worth enduring. The rapture is a promise of deliverance, of ultimate salvation, and it's this promise that gives believers the strength to stand firm in their faith. Imagine if you will the joy of that moment, the ecstasy of being reunited with the Savior, the overwhelming sense of peace and fulfillment. Imagine having an eternal celestial immortal body as Jesus has. It's not just about escaping the tribulations of the world but also about achieving a state of spiritual completion of ultimate communion with the divine. This is the joy, the hope, the anticipation that the rapture brings to believers. But what about those who find themselves left behind? The rapture, while a moment of great joy for a small group of believers, also signifies a time of tribulation for those who do not share the same faith. It's a wake-up call, a stark reminder of the reality of God's word and the need for repentance. The rapture is not just about heavenly reunion, but also about earthly reckoning. It's a dividing line that separates believers from those that are not ready, a moment that brings to light the eternal consequences of faith and unbelief. So whether you believe in the rapture or not, one thing remains clear, it's a powerful and significant event in the biblical narrative, a moment that encapsulates the essence of faith, hope, and divine judgment, an event that continues to shape the beliefs, hopes, and fears of millions around the world. Imagine waking up one day and finding that many people you knew have suddenly disappeared. You might wonder if you're in a science fiction movie, but for those who understand the concept of the rapture, they know this is no fiction. It's a reality that has been foretold in the Bible. The world after the rapture is a place of confusion and chaos. Many are left asking questions trying to make sense of what has happened. There are no easy answers, and the search for understanding becomes a journey of self-discovery and reflection. In the midst of this turmoil, the truths of the Bible become starkly apparent. The rapture was not a random event, but a divine intervention. The realization of God's word can be shocking, but it is also a call to action. It's a wake-up call, 
a stark reminder that there is more to life than what we see with our earthly eyes. For those who have been left behind, this is a time of reckoning. It's a time to turn inward, to examine one's beliefs and actions. It's a time for repentance, for seeking forgiveness for past wrongs and making amends. But repentance is not a one-time event, it's a journey, a process of transformation. It involves acknowledging one's mistakes, seeking forgiveness, and striving to live in a way that aligns with God's will. Repentance is not easy, but it is necessary. It's the path to redemption, the way to eternal life. It's a journey that requires courage, humility, and faith. But for those who choose to embark on this journey, they find not only forgiveness but also a deeper understanding of God's love and grace. This is the aftermath of the rapture, a time of tribulation and struggle but also a time of opportunity. It's a chance to turn away from a life of unbelief and embrace a life of faith. It's a chance to experience the transformative power of God's love and mercy. For those left behind it's a time of tribulation and struggle. Unbelief plays a significant role in the aftermath of the rapture. Let's delve into the role of unbelief during this monumental event. The Bible paints a vivid picture of the aftermath of the rapture, particularly for those who did not believe. It talks of a time of tribulation, a period of immense struggle and hardship. This is not meant to scare but to underline the gravity of unbelief. The book of Revelation for instance describes a time of great trials and tribulations for those left behind. It speaks of wars, famines, earthquakes, and other calamities. Now while these may seem like scenes from a dystopian novel, they carry a profound message. They serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of unbelief. But why is this important? Well in the context of the Christian faith belief is central. It is the cornerstone of one's relationship with God. It is through belief that one acknowledges the sovereignty of God, accepts His grace, and anticipates His return. In essence, belief is the bridge that connects humanity with the divine. If we flip the coin, unbelief therefore, can be seen as a disconnect from the divine. It is a rejection of God's grace, and a conscious decision to live in spiritual blindness. This is why the aftermath of the rapture is depicted as a time of tribulation for those who do not believe. It is a consequence of their choice to reject the divine truth. The Bible, however, is not just a book of consequences but also one of redemption. It provides hope for those living in unbelief, extending an invitation to turn back, to repent, and to embrace the grace of God. The rapture, therefore, is not just a moment of great anticipation for believers but also a wake-up call for those in unbelief. It serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unbelief, but also, importantly, the transformative power of belief. The rapture is a powerful event, regardless of one's belief. As we delve into the final part of our exploration we begin to truly understand the profound impact of the rapture. In the biblical narrative, the rapture isn't merely an event, it's a turning point, a catalyst that sets in motion a series of events that forever change the course of history. It's a moment of divine intervention, a testament to the power of God's love for His people. Imagine if you will, the sheer magnitude of such an event. Believers, in the twinkling of an eye, suddenly taken up to meet their Savior. The world left in awe, witnessing a supernatural occurrence beyond human comprehension. It's a display of divine power that leaves an indelible mark on those who experience it, both directly and indirectly. But the power of the rapture isn't confined to its physical manifestation. It's also deeply psychological. It influences mindsets, reshapes perspectives and inspires a renewed commitment to faith. The anticipation of the rapture serves as a constant reminder to Christians to live their lives according to God's teachings, to strive for righteousness and to prepare for their eternal home. For those left behind the rapture serves as a jarring wake-up call. It's a tangible confirmation of the biblical prophecies, a proof of God's existence and His divine plan. It compels introspection, provokes questioning, and ignites a search for truth. The rapture therefore is not just an event to be anticipated but also a tool for spiritual growth. It's a catalyst for change, a motivator for faith, and a testament to God's unending love for His people. Whether you believe in the rapture or not, it's undeniable that it holds a significant place in the Christian faith. It's a powerful symbol of hope, a beacon of God's promise, and a pivotal moment that continues to shape the spiritual journey of millions around the world. This is all for today. I would love to know your thoughts about the biblical catching away, so leave your comments, share your thoughts with us.